Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. And pray that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable and pleasing to you, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, accept the gifts of a rejoicing church. May we, your people, who are gathered here in this sacred place, arrive at eternal salvation through the mysteries in which they share. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. The whole world is your temple shaped to resound with your name. Yet you also allow us to dedicate to you ser our service and places of service designed for your worship. With hearts full of joy, we consecrate to your glory this work of our hands, this house of prayer. Here is foreshadowed the mystery of your true temple. This chapel is the image on earth of your heavenly city. For you made the body of your son born of the Virgin Mary a temple consecrated to your glory, the dwelling place of your Godhead in all its fullness. You have established the church as your holy city, founded on the apostles, with Jesus Christ its cornerstone. You continued to build your church with chosen stones, enlivened by the Spirit and cemented together by love. In that holy city, you will be all in all for endless ages, and Christ will be its light forever. Through Christ we praise you, Lord, with all the angels and saints in their song of joy. Holy, holy, holy. We come to you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, we ask you to accept and bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church. Watch over it, Lord, and guide it. Grant it peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Benedict, our Pope, for me, your unworthy servant, and for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the apostles. Remember, Lord, your people especially those whom we mention to you now, our living brothers and sisters for whom we wish to pray at this time. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole church, we honor Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. We honor Joseph, her husband, the apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant help and protection. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. 
Grant us your peace in this life, save us from final damnation, and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering. Make it acceptable to you, an offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. The day before he suffered, he took bread in his sacred hands, and looking up to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer to you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with love on, and favor on these offerings, and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith and the bread and wine offered by your priest, Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. Then, as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us marked with a sign of faith, especially those who have gone before us and have established these services to your people. We pause now to mention some of our beloved deceased for whom we ask eternal life. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness. Christ our Lord. To him you give us all these gifts to fill them with life and goodness, to bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And together, let us pray in the words our Lord and Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And also with you. And now let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, bread of life, you take away the sins of the world. Behold, this is the Lamb of God, this is he who takes upon himself the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet of love. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy to receive you, and only say the word, and I shall be healed. Lord, through these gifts, increase the vision of your truth in our minds. May we always worship you in your holy temple and rejoice in your presence with all your saints. <coughs> Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Please stand. Lord, through these gifts, increase the vision of your truth in our minds. May we always worship you in your holy temple, and especially in this chapel, and rejoice in your presence with all your saints. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> 